Suge Knight claims Diddy's life is in danger, urges Diddy to turn himself in, okay? And I listened to this recording. I don't know if you guys did or not. He's, he's doing 28 years in jail, just so you guys know Suge Knight. And Suge Knight goes all the way back in the 1995 award ceremony when he said, if, if y'all want to be part of a, you know, label that the, the owner doesn't need to be in yeah. every single video. All dancing, up in you know, the videos, yeah. hey, the Source Awards. Come to death row. Yeah, come, come to, to death row. Exactly. And he says that, right? If you want to play the clip with what Suge Knight just said on the recording, Rob, I think you, uh, uh, yeah, if you can play just that clip right there, go for it. Been talking about the puppy situation. Oh, Rob, you can't, can't, can't do it. You can't do it, Rob. Come okay, so with anyway, me. So let me just read this. Idea. Knight said okay. he prays for Diddy's kids, but also blasted the mogul for giving up hip-hop, giving hip-hop a bad image. I'll tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger because you know the secrets. Who's involved in a secret little room you guys are participating in? The 58-year-old Knight said he added, they're going to Get you if they can, Knight noted that he turned himself in to face his charges, and he thinks Diddy should do the same. Sometimes you got to face the music. That's most of the time. Knight said, Knight also insisted that Diddy would face serious trouble if he ends up in prison. You got to make a decision when you go to prison. You're going to be standing up pissing or squatting, <laughs> sitting down pissing. Knight said before warning Diddy not to use his nickname, Brother Love, in prison. Got to yeah. give this guy some... Uh, uh, oh, my. Well, listen. Y- yeah. Uh, do you think... Uh, is there any bigger enemy, choose your enemies wisely, than Diddy has with Suge Knight? Suge Knight is the Diddy of Death Row Records. So we talked about this on, the, on previous podcast. In the 90s, the biggest beef in America was the East Coast, West Coast rap. So when Suge Knight is talking and giving friendly advice to Diddy... Just be careful where you get your counsel. He does not have the best intentions for Diddy. You got overlays on this Combs issue, right? Because it's taking on a cultural component about uh, people looking with a jaundiced eye at hip hop. It's happening more and more as this goes and there's no direct action on Combs. Um, The first thing that bothered me about this is why is a guy who's doing 28 years for voluntary manslaughter and he didn't just turn himself in to do the right Mm -hmm. thing? Okay. What a noble cause. They had him. (laughs) Why is he? After get, I killed the guy, I got arrested. I kind of turned people. myself in. Yeah, my I don't understand why he gets a platform in prison. First of all, like if you want to punish the guy, shut him up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're doing your 28 years for murder. Um, what are you saying, though? I'm saying that why does he get to give press statements about what's happening with Sean Combs? He's a the guy should be in a box thinking about what he did for the next 20 Would you want to interview him? Would you want to interview Shook Oh, Knight? of course. I'm a shameless opportunist. <laughs> if I got, but I think that as a Shook, rule, if you're you watching this, <laughs> as a rule, I don't know why a prisoner who did something that bad is getting that kind of access to free speech. But the idea of this becoming more about hip hop, this investigation doesn't smell right from an investigative perspective. And I'll, mm. I'll tell you why. Ordinarily, here's how it works. You start working bottom up in an investigation like this. This is essentially a RICO case. Okay, this is a racketeering case. That's what they're going to do is get him for ancillary activities that were part of what they're going to say was a criminal enterprise. You get the little guys. They start to bubble up. You now get your subpoenas out. You get your information, your, your web of, of networks of contacts and communications, which is a treasure trove these days because everybody's doing this all the time. Mm-hmm. Then... You punctuate it with things that you now have an understanding where they might be and what they might mean, and you raid. And then you indict and or arrest. That's the way it usually works. Here, we didn't hear about a lot of these things until the raid, which may have been motivated by these civil suits, which are laid out very well, by the way, especially that little rod. It it reads like a novel. Yeah. Then there's no action on Diddy. Diddy's waving, going to Adam's friends' restaurants. He was um, in Pura Vida in Miami filming with Wes Watson this weekend. There's something, Meanwhile, his sons have been arrested. There's something off about this investigation. And what it smells like to me is that hip-hop is a great boogeyman for the feds. Hip-hop is bad. They don't see it as what it is now, which is my kids' culture. Okay, My white kids living in the Hamptons live hip-hop. My daughter is going a little country on me. The songwriter, she's been writing some country, so I don't know where she gets gets that from. But I think that there are going to be some big surprises in this investigation of the nothing variety. And it's going to be a big problem for the feds. You bust a billionaire's house who's a major culture figure. Mm -hmm. You put his kids in cuffs. I know they thought there may be weapons in the house, and that's a protocol for them. But I tell you, 
I don't think they would have done it to Mark Cuban's kids. And I mm. think that this is going to wind up having a nothing burger aspect. You think it. so? I'll tell you. I know that 90-10, anybody who's been around investigations will say, no way. They would have never raided his house if they don't have him. He, look, an indictment is a probable cause standard. It's the lowest standard in our business. That's why we say you can indict a ham sandwich, right? I don't smell that they have him on the kinds of major felonies that were being teased early on, except for one component. He's got a lot of friends. No one's defending him right now. That makes me a little suspicious. Where are his friends? Yep. But it doesn't, it's not lining up right in terms of how they usually do this, Pat. But that, when, I know but I'm right. When Suge Knight is your biggest advocate, you, you got some problems. Rob, go, uh, 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 while you're, I want to yeah. hear which way, go to 50 Cent. By the way, play that clip to see where he's at. This is Miami. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Wes Watson. Down here been at, at Pira Vida by my pad. Run into the man right here. Love. What's up? Miami's Love. like that. Yeah. It's a movie. Down here. Okay, at go go to Fifty Cent's Instagram. But go ahead, Vinny. So, so Mo, what 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 do you think about the aspect of a lot of people, and not just you know online ex people making those you know those videos posting, but what about the aspect of because he he looks like he's happy. He doesn't got a care in the world. The aspect of all the cameras and all the stuff that he recorded on some Epstein level stuff that they went in and the some major players that powers that be went in just to make sure all the footage of all the shit that they had with all these elites was taken out and deleted. And yeah. then he flew that plane. He well, he wasn't on it, but this jet with God knows what was on it flew to a a, a place. Where was it? Where Antigua. Uh, Antigua. Where there's no extradition Antigua. to the U.S. That thing is there. Whatever's on that plane is gone. That looks like the guy to me that knows that he's good because they're like, hey, listen, with all the shit, with all the girls that are, with all the kids stuff and all that stuff, we got to go in there. We got to raid. We're gonna take out anything that we seem we deem. Like that can get our people in trouble, and we'll get it out of here. How, I think that that seems more feasible to me from a person with that type of attitude. That's just like, yo, what up? All love. If your kids are getting arrested and you're walking scot free like that, something is definitely fishy. Rob, do you have that clip from uh, uh, Fifty Cent? Go to the the one to the right, top right. Yeah, watch this. Pray, press the go for it. Hey, yo, right now though, for real. Yo, I need to know who fucks with me. You know. Like, just straight up, like, like, I don't have the time. You know, if you fuck with me, let it be known. Because I'm going to this next era and I'm lining up all the allies. If you fuck with me, let it be known. If you don't fuck with me, be quiet. And I will take your silence as you don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And it's all love. But if you fuck with me, let it be known. Because big thing. Okay, so, so, okay. so is he saying so if you're cent. with me? Yes. Are you with me or against me? Okay. Are you on my team? But, but or if you're with them, publicly are... come out, publicly yeah. come out and be like, hey, whatever's happened with Diddy, um, I vote What for I want to yeah. know is nuts? tell me one person that supported him. I know. This I, guy. That picture, right? This guy that supports guy. him. <laughs> tell me that's one his person. Advocate, nope. right? One Nobody. person that's come out that said anything that I got his back. And that is the suspicious thing. So what does that tell us? So my reporting. Uh, talking to some of these people who I thought would come out, and obviously mm -hmm. you protect them as sources. That's that's what uh, the media is supposed to do ethically. And they say, look, I don't believe that he is gay, not that that's a crime, that he is a pedophile. I don't believe it. I don't like these Bieber videos. I think they're misleading. But, mm -hmm. but, but. They He's all have a but, and it all goes to abuse of his power and what the people around him may have been doing that he was caught up in. Yeah. And that's why they're staying quiet. Now, the problem is also that you got Fitty. I keep getting yelled at for not saying his name right. Fitty. Is it F I T T? Chris, you're Chris Cuomo. You say what you want, Chris, buddy. Right, Chris, I think you start more, wrapping up 50. in the club right you're now. From, you do what you want. You're from Cuomo. New York. It's 50. All right. So yeah. 50 Cent says. Uh, bad things about uh, Biggie because about uh, Combs because it's it's competition. Suge is saying bad things because it's competition. That's getting covered more than the actual investigation, and that's my problem with this. Is there's an overlay of kind of hip hop culture going at itself, and that's a distraction from the actual case. And I really believe that I haven't seen any indication except that raid, which was. I've never seen a guy of his profile get done as dirty as that raid was. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, people say Trump got raided. Trump didn't get raided. They didn't have any weapons. They didn't draw any weapons. It was done by arrangement. They spoke first. That's a raid. Oh, yeah. What they did to a billionaire named Sean Combs. It doesn't smell right to me. It doesn't Spe smell speaking right. Did you see this clip? Did you see this clip of Mike Tyson? 
yeah. and him sitting next yeah, to each other. Yeah, very weird. Can you, Rob, if you can, you know, pull up this clip. I, by the way, I just typed uh, Diddy Tyson. There you go. Yeah. Watch this. It's a little mm-hmm. weird. So Tyson and uh, uh, Diddy are next to each other in an, in an interview. This is with uh, Keenan, Keenan Ivory Waynes is the whole. And, and back Look up at that a hand. Bit. Watch yeah. what Tyson does. <laughs> It truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, he's he good. Put it on his lap like he's moving out the way. <laughs> well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Oh, All right? We'll be right back with more right after this. <laughs> Yeah, look at him. He doesn't like his hand near him. I mean, this, is, this is probably from the 90s. <laughs> yeah, but still, he's still moving his ass away but, from his... And I, I don't know. Tyson um, was on... Was it, Did we talk about Diddy with Tyson? I don't. I think he kind of just... What did he say about I think he just love. skipped over that question. Oh, he yeah. said all love. But, by the way, where are Diddy's friends? Where's Usher? Where's Bieber? Where's Lil' Kim? Well, we, Will, he's friends with Will Smith. He's friends with, obviously, um, the whole Junior Mafia crew. Mace. DJ Khaled in Miami. These are his friends. But let me ask you a what question. What do they say? Can I ask you a question, though, Adam? What, what would be, not, not necessarily the benefit, what is coming out to stick up for a guy that you, at the end of the day, have no idea? Why was he recording everybody? Why were there cameras in every room? That's a f- you. There's nothing illegal about having cameras in your home. Small little cameras in every single room. Is, is that illegal? Cool. In your having bathroom. Cameras in your in home? your bathroom. It's in not, your home. It's not illegal you based, based you on want. how you use the footage. But I will tell yeah. you, it's unusual to have cameras in a house as opposed to pointing outside the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like security cameras are usually There's looking legal at, about at the perimeter. Like unusual. Like when no. Pat, uh, you know, caught me trying to steal some of the air valve covers <laughs> off of one of the cars. Yeah. It was on the camera Heart outside, what, what, not in my bathroom. What, I fully disagree. You have cameras in you the can, house. You talking? can. It's unusual. By the yeah. way, we officially know Adam has cameras in every one. Yeah, of yeah I'm never going to yeah. take a crap yeah. in your house. Yeah. What the hell are you That's talking about? But wait, but you, hold on. No. Come on. Hold on a second. If you have a camera in your house, in your bathroom, hold up, and somebody's in there peeing or doing drugs or hooking up with somebody, that's legal in your own bathroom and if without telling them? If you do something that? with it, yes. But well, you can have cameras in your house. Well, no, if you do something with it, no, it wouldn't be legal. Correct. But in terms of wanting, you can do whatever in your house you want. But if you then put it online or something, yeah. you've but, got to but, but here's my, here's or my, blackmail them. But here, here's my question. Though. Have what you if, ever seen any reality show ever? It's yeah, cameras yeah, but hold on. in that's different. every That's room. Go yeah. by Florida law. So wait, wait, wait. So recording that's in really private good. spaces without consent, such as changing rooms, bathrooms, or private yeah. homes, is illegal. So I'm I love you, Rob. Thank you. So going to my point, going to my point, what we're finding out is his house in L.A., his house in Miami, his house in New York, these cameras were everywhere. And, bro, we're not just talking about, you know, Cassie was there with a couple rappers. No, no. Foreign dignitaries like the prince, they're saying, these type of people were at this house. If they found out, oh, he's getting, this is happening, and there's cameras in the bathroom. You know what I was doing in that bathroom? Go, f- go after him. Get the system. Get his ass. Go in there and raid it. That's what I would do if that, I was that's, of that that's, caliber. That's that could be one of five <laughs> yeah. things that you have to put on the line that could be happening right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Rico, th- uh, 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 sex trafficking, human trafficking. Yeah. You know, rape. intel on others. You know, rape. Uh, you know, guns. There could be a lot of different things. It's that's gonna going to be Rico, after. no matter what, because that's the vehicle that they created to make it easier to get all the other stuff. Hmm. Whether they can make the case in a way where, when you read the indictment, which is the best it gets for the prosecution, right? The indictment is the height of how compelling it is, because you haven't really heard anything from the other side. If you don't read that and you're like, oh, wow, uh, they really have him. And they're all these people that are testifying against him who are doing the activities for him. Then my suspicion is right that this is this is sniffy. Look, this is why they always get mobsters on tax. Yep. OK, the reason they get mobsters they on tax Capone. is and that was a different day where guys basically, you know, once in a while, Sammy the Bull and others would talk. But usually it was uh, a conspiracy of the quiet. Hip hop Mm -hmm. and these new uh, things that they're doing criminally within that that sphere, they all talk. It's braggadocious at best. So racketeering influenced and corrupt organizations is just a fancy way of saying we're going to catch you for the side activities that went into the main criminal enterprise. That's how they're going to come at Puffy. It's a much lower bar for them to make the Mm -hmm. case. Let's go to the amount of traffic we're getting right now with Manek is unbelievable. Yesterday, I can't even tell you how many Manek's came through yesterday for me. Great conversations. People booking 15 minutes calls. Tom is about to cross 2,000 Manects. Okay, he'll be the first person to have 2,000 paid Manects uh, uh, there. I know Chris uh, is probably one of the fastest to respond on Manek. I think he's a 24-hour guy at 100% response back to answer. So if you have any questions today, 
If you disagree with me or agree with Tom or Vinny or Adam or Como, these are their QR codes, ask him any question you want on Manek. There's a 95% chance you get a respond back. On Instagram, you get respond backs 5%. On LinkedIn, 5%. On Twitter, less than 10%. On Manek, there's a 90 to a 95% chance they're going to get back to you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.